tonight on the 10 o'clock news an update to a story involving this pack of dogs accused of attacking pets and people inside two Jacksonville apartment complexes. After our story aired last night, animal control confiscated two of the dogs. News from Jack's reporter Eric Alvin, also spoke with the owner. Because you understand if one of those dogs mauled a child, I mean, you would be right. in a lot of trouble. I already know, yeah, I know. And you know, I probably still could be, you know, like you said, they're still investigating. Eric also learned the owner of the dogs personally apologized to a woman that we heard from last night who said that his dogs killed seven of her cats. Neighbors say the dogs were terrorizing the Oak Hammock apartment complex and the Oakwood Villa complex. Both are located on Acme Street near Kona Avenue near the Arlington area. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avignier joins us live to explain the series of events that led to the removal of the dogs. Eric. Well, Animal Control says the video that we aired last night showing that pack of dogs attacking a woman's cat uh, helped them identify two of those dogs. And get this, uh, the owner of those cats that were killed said that earlier today, the owner of the dogs showed up at her apartment to apologize. This is the video that Jacksonville Animal Control Chief Michael Bricker says helped his officers identify two dogs that took part in the killing of seven cats and are believed to be the same dogs that have terrorized neighbors in the Oak Hammock apartment complex and the Oakwood Villa complex. Chief Bricker says his officers tracked down the owner of the dogs. He, did, he didn't really work with us, but we were able to, to, to work with the owner of the property um, to identify that those two dogs were not dogs that um, the, the person that lived at the property wanted to keep any longer, and those were two, the two dogs in question. The dogs came from this house located next door to the Oak Hammock apartment complex. On Thursday, when we first spoke with the residents here and at Oakwood Villa complex across the street, they all said the dogs were terrorizing people and pets. It's, it's causing problems around I'm concerned that they may attack a child. You're looking at an opening where the dogs were able to leave their property and come right onto the property of the apartment complex. And this is another opening in the owner's fence, again, where the dogs were able to just walk right through. The owner of the dogs that were confiscated by animal control agreed to a recorded interview as long as he was not identified. You can't see him because well, he's on the other side um, of the fence. I have, well, I had two, I had two dogs. Then my friend dropped his dogs off and I got stuck with them. You know, they're supposed to be home, but I had people come over, this and that. You know, I didn't know it was being, I didn't know it was gonna be drug out this long, you know what I mean? Someone could have told me about the situations that were happening out there. Like, I didn't, like, they get out, I worry about what's going on. He says he didn't realize his dogs were recorded on multiple videos attacking cats that belonged to Karen Harrell. The cats were on her front patio. Seven of her cats were killed, only two survived. I know you said that you were shocked to find out that the owner actually found you and apologized? Yes, he came over today to, and offered his apologies for what happened and claimed that he didn't know what his dogs were doing. And as I told him, I said, the apology is really hard for us to accept because of the amount of loss we suffered in such a short amount of time. Although the situation appears to be resolved, Animal Control was not able to remove all the dogs from the property because they said they couldn't positively identify the remaining dogs as the same attack animals in the video. What about your remaining dogs that are here? I have um, two here, and um, they, they, I got to bring them out on leaf for now, you know, just they're not going to be able to just hang out no more. Now, Animal Control says this case is still under investigation, which means the owner of those dogs could still face a citation or possibly criminal charges. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.